This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The first step to creating a crystal report is to actually start the program and select a new file. Now there are numerous ways to start crystal reports. You might need to go down to the start menu at the bottom left. You might have a shortcut on your desktop. We have a shortcut here on our desktop to Crystal Reports 2011. This is the symbol you're looking for if you're trying to find the program in a list of programs. To start it from the desktop, I simply double click. And that will start SAP Crystal Reports. Now when Crystal Reports first starts, you'll be presented with the start page, a little tab here for the start page. Notice it says SAP Crystal Reports both on the start page and in the title bar. And we have a number of shortcuts. We have the option to start a new report using a blank report, report wizard, crosstab report wizard, mailing label report wizard, OLAB cube report wizard. So all of these are shortcuts to getting yourself started quite quickly. And we have a list of recent reports. So as you build up a collection of reports, the most recent ones will be listed here. Now in the bottom half of the screen, this is only available if you're attached to the internet at the time you're using Crystal Reports. You'll see latest news and tips from SAP themselves. So this information here is all fed down from SAP's website, which is why there was a delay on this bit appearing as opposed to this bit appearing. And you'll see there are links to key resources and even e-learning materials on SAP's own site. So they will use this area to keep you up to date with major changes or minor changes or even just blog articles. So our interest here is actually creating a blank report. Now we can do that in a number of ways. We can either choose the shortcut off the start page that says blank report here, or we can go up to file new blank report. Notice the shortcut control N, which is your usual shortcut to start a new file in any program, is actually used for the standard report which is in effect the report wizard, which is this step here. So if it's a blank report you are after, because we want to start from scratch completely without any help, it's blank report from the file menu or blank report from start new report. Once I choose that step, I'm given a blank report. The database expert pops up here. We're going to cancel that for the time being. But I now have report one, see that report one, a separate tab, I can go back to the start page at any time, but I'm in report one and I'm in design mode for report one, ready to start setting up my report, the page orientation, connecting to the right data, etc. But that's the start process with Chris Reports. You start Chris Reports itself from the shortcut on the desktop, start menu, and then we create a new report using file, new, blank report, or from the start page, blank report. And that will give us, in this case, report one, if I were to go back to the start page and choose blank report again, I would now have report two. Again, the database expert pops up, but we'll close that for now. So the second report in a particular session is report two, the third is report three, report four, etc. That numbering continues until you close crystal reports and effectively start it again, and that will be a new session. So that'll be report one, report two, report three, etc. etc. Obviously, as we get through the title, You'll see that we don't have to stick with these names. We save the files with whatever name we feel is appropriate. So this is just getting you started, starting the program and opening a blank file ready to start creating a report.